Please tell us your name. My name is Edward Chole. Okay. What have you brought to the harvest today? I bought two photos of the people that worked at the Nightcraft factory. Okay. Can you please tell us what the Nightcraft factory did? Well, the, it was a factory that they made uh, women's apparel. Okay. Do you know how old it is? I couldn't tell you that. Uh, I, it was there before I was born, so. <laughs> uh, why did you decide to bring it to the harvest today? I read about it in the paper, and I thought maybe you'd be interested in since it no longer exists, and it had been for a um, good many years, and it was, gave a, quite a few people work. How did you acquire this item? It belonged to my aunt and uncle, who both worked there. And they both have been deceased, and I ended up with them. How do you think this ties into Sunbury history? Like, why do you think it would be important for people to know about this? Well, it's a part of history. <laughs> Very much a part of history because a lot of people depended on that. You said they made women's clothing. Um, you have to speak a little louder, I guess. Oh, sorry. You said they made women's clothing, right? Uh, Excuse me. Uh, they made women's clothing? Yes. Okay. Yes. Where, um... Was that for just the Sunbury area? Or was no, it? I'm sure they shipped it out. You know, it was it was a pretty big, good sized building, about three or four floors. Do you know why it closed? Do I? Do you know why it closed? No, I don't. Uh, well, this last picture is '54. It, uh, it the Nightcraft closed, but then it, there was another outfit went in there and did some work. But they were only there a short time, and then it, it was gone. I think it was Champ Hat who made hats here. They have a factory up on Greenhouse Street. Okay. 